guys, it's Leah and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see by the title of this video, we're going to be doing something a little different than usual. So make sure if you haven't already, you subscribe down below and yeah, let's just jump right in. So today is going to be kind of a fan theory slash... I'm going to say rant because it will probably happen, but the question of today is, who is Aurelius Dumbledore? Now, if you guys aren't fans of the Harry Potter-esque world slash Fantastic Beasts, I'm just going to lump them all together for the purpose of this video, it was revealed, and this will have some spoilers, so if you guys have not seen The Crimes of Grindelwald and you don't want to be spoiled, then I have plenty of other videos that you can watch, or if you just want a quick catch up on why I'm doing this video, you guys can go and check out my um, film review of Fantastic Beasts and I ended up going into a little bit of a rant but I actually want to talk more in detail about it now. At the end of Crimes of Grindelwald it was revealed by Grindelwald that Credence was in fact a Dumbledore. Now if you guys are fans like I am I sat in the theater and I was fuming. He said you are Aurelius Dumbledore. He probably didn't say it like that, I'm paraphrasing of course, but yeah, he said that he was Aurelius Dumbledore and that, and then all of a sudden there was a phoenix to prove because there's a family tradition that a phoenix will always come to a Dumbledore in need or something like that, which is actually really funny now that I say it out loud because it reminds me of when Fox came to Harry when he was in need. So if we're going off of that logic, then Harry is a Dumbledore too. You guys can't tell, I am very irritated by this. But then I got to thinking, let's just say for a moment they actually decided that Credence was going to be Aurelius Dumbledore and he was going to be this long last Dumbledore sibling. And, you know, Dumbledore and Aberforth and Ariana were his siblings for real in real life and they actually decided to carry this out. That would irritate me so much because it just makes no sense. Dumbledore has two siblings. He has Aberforth and he has Ariana. And they're spoken about quite a bit in the Harry Potter text and in the Harry Potter world. So it makes no sense for the purpose of a franchise to decide all of a sudden to create a new person or a new Dumbledore or a new sibling. It just, it doesn't make any sense to me. You could go and be like, oh, he's this long lost person and they didn't know and lost at birth and like blah blah blah. I really 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 hope that that is not the direction they go in. Rather when asking the question who is Aurelius Dumbledore it simply is a myth because Aurelius Dumbledore does not exist and this is when we get into the fan theory and I strongly believe and I really 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 hope that this is the case that Grindelwald is just lying. Point blank. Grindelwald is lying. There is no Aurelius Dumbledore. Grindelwald knows. He's a mastermind. He's a genius. And he cannot stop Dumbledore himself because of the pact that they made. So who better to use as a pawn in his game than this kid who is lost and just wants to know who his family is and he has this obscurus and which, if harnessed, could be a deadly weapon. Almost sounds like the Death Star. But no, that was just, just keeping Star Wars out of this. Um, <laughs> but anyway, if harnessed and if used correctly, could defeat Dumbledore. We obviously know this is not the case. But anyway, what better than to trick this boy into thinking that he is a Dumbledore and that they somehow betrayed him and left him to die and didn't want anything to do with him, and that is why he suffered all of his orphan boy problems. I mean, hello? Like, I really hope that this is, this is the case, that there is no Aurelius Dumbledore. He's just plain old Credence, and uh, Grind Grindelwald sees right through this and decides that he's going to take advantage of this and use it to his benefit in his tirade against Dumbledore. So, as you know, we will not find out until 2020. 2020, which, at the same time, it's so far away, but at the same time, it's kind of not, but it's really far away for this purpose of this video. Of course, this is all just speculation. I really, really hope that that is the direction they take it in. 
because I will breathe a huge sigh of relief and be able to binge watch this as like, you know, a marathon without getting super angry at the end of the second one. Because if I just know and if they just do that for real, then then I can be okay. It will be okay. But if that he is actually an Aurelius Dumbledore, and Aurelius Dumbledore. If he's actually Aurelius Dumbledore and they create this whole myth and backstory out of the blue about how Dumbledore somehow has three siblings and not two siblings and we just didn't know this whole time and now they're uncovering it and Grindelwald's the only one that knew and like something like that, then I'm going to be angry. Um, and you will probably see more rants about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... There's so many other fan theories about if Grindelwald is actually lying, then, you know, or how it's connected or blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I really just think he's lying, first of all. And and second of all, maybe the if Ariana was an obscure, what is it, obscurial, obscurious, I don't know. If she had that possession and when she died, that was, like, floating on yonder somewhere, perhaps... It went into Credence. I guess we could kind of connect it that way. As long as Credence is not a Dumbledore, that's the only thing I have to say. Hate me for it. I don't care. It's just the one thing that really irritates me is when they decide to change canon to make it fit for a franchise that has three more films just so that they can somehow weave the story into it. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. I don't think that I ranted as much as I could have. Um, so yeah, leave comments down below on what you guys think. Is Aurelius a Dumbledore? Credence? Aurelius? I don't know what to call him anymore. Is Credence a Dumbledore? <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's just some of my thoughts on that. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe down below for more videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.